The way we de define the VBQ offering has, interestingly, has not changed really since inception in 2008. And I think that is one of the standout sides of uh, what we've been doing. We've been very consistent. We set out to create an offering that um, was a solution to the rather sort of dark ad network model of the time and create something that offered the opportunity for the advertiser to really understand what, what was happening behind the scenes. So we have gone down a road of talking to clients, making sure they're very clear about how much of their media, how much of their budget is spent on media and understanding all the fees. There's been a lot of swirl in the last few months about Omnicom and Zaxis and so on, but you know we've kept pretty consistent. and. The idea of whether you're a trading desk or an audience buying platform and so on is kind of less relevant to us. The, the thing that is important, I think, about the idea of being called a trading desk is more that you're aligned with an agency model. And give or take, that means that your the, the point of your existence is, is to be working to the benefit of the advertiser. And we see at Vivaki very much that is our plan. We want to align with the agencies and with their advertisers to make sure that when we're in market buying media, targeting ads, it's very much to the benefit of whatever the advertiser KPI is. The trouble with the broader marketplace and some of the other offerings that are out there, whether they call themselves trade and desk or anything else, is that they have multiple streams of business models in play that mean that they can't possibly align because they're looking for a return on investment on the media they've already bought. Uh, they're looking to create business models around data and around their technology partners. And I think that muddies the water and I think we're all seeing, you know, right now we're seeing uh, that the advertisers want a lot more clarity on that. And as Viviki, you know, we're comfortable with how we sit in that position and how we're talking to our advertisers. Tell us about the project with Amazon. What can you tell us? I think Amazon is a really good example of how what Vivki was about right from the start, which was to be very early on with these big technology companies, the first of which at the time was Google. Um, and you know, if people can think that far back in 2008 when we announced the Google partnership with Publicis, a big thrust of that was actually about the technology. It wasn't a media deal per se, it was really about how we got closer to their product and engineering. And we've been very consistent about that's our relationship with these big tech companies. Amazon, uh, the Amazon announcement recently was the fruition of 18 months of working with them to help um, support what they're doing from a self-service perspective and their self-service platform. And as a result of you know a lot of effort in that way with their beta partner, and that that was sort of recently announced. So it's kind of a it's a case study for exactly what what we try and do with our our big partners in the in the media space.